Hey folks, today I'm going to be servicing this Yamaha 4 stroke 4 horsepower outboard. Most of these small Yamaha 4 strokes are pretty much the same, just a slightly bigger power head, but the servicing is the same on most of them. First thing we're going to do is pop off the clip front and back and remove the hood. Here are the parts we're going to be changing today. We have our 4 stroke engine oil. We have the 90 weight gear oil for the lower unit. We have a new impeller, genuine Yamaha, a new filter, fuel filter, new spark plug, and our two fibre washers for the drain and fill plugs on the lower unit. We're going to replace the spark plug first. So we're going to pop off the boot and we're going to pull this little plastic clip and put the HT lead out of the way. Next we're going to put our plug socket on the plug. We're a little bit tight on space here to get a ratchet in. So I've got a socket or a spanner that fits over the end of the socket. That's our plug. As it tells us here, our new plug is supposed to be a BR6 HS NGK. This is our new plug, it's a BR6 HS, it's a 10, which means the gap is set at 1mm. So I've checked the specs for this and it's supposed to be between 0.6 and 0.7, so I've used a feeler gauge to set it to 0.7. So we're going to put our new plug in. That's it tight enough. And we can put our HT lead back on. And make sure it's fully clipped on. And we'll clip back in. And that's the plug taken care of. Next we're going to change out the fuel filter. I've already turned the valve on the bottom of the tank to the off position to prevent us from losing too much fuel. You can see our old fuel filter has a little arrow on it. That needs to point in the direction of the flow of the fuel, which is between the tank and the fuel pump. This is our new fuel filter. We can see the arrow is pointing this direction towards the fuel pump again. And our filter now is fully seated with the hoses, so that looks good. Remember to turn the fuel back on. Next we're going to drain out the oil. So the drain plug lives just here. It's a 12 millimeter bolt. We need to make sure that the engine is sitting level and we'll loosen that bolt and remove the oil.
So we have the oil fully drained out now and we have the drain plug back in. It says in the manual that it takes 500 mils of oil. So we're going to put in 500 and check our levels. Slightly less than 500 we're going to put in. So that's perfect now, it's showing just over halfway between the min and the max with the engine level. So that's perfect. So that's it for the top end. We are going to move on next to the impeller and the gear oil in the lower unit. But we're going to put that into a separate video. Okay, thanks, bye bye.